What is the best Excel course to start with as a beginner data analyst? I get asked this question a lot and in this video, I want to show you my top three Excel courses for a beginner. Hey, what's up guys, Wally here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about three free courses to start learning Excel for data analysis as a beginner. Now, a lot of people want to start learning data analysis. I've been asking questions about where to start, what courses to start with, and I know how it feels to want to learn something and not know where to start. I've always recommended starting with Excel. So in this video, I'm going to show you my top three beginner Excel courses. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. The first course is from edX and edX was where I first started learning about data analysis. So I have a special bias for them. Anyway, the course is called the Excel for Everyone Professional Certificate or the Master Data Analytics Excel Professional Course. This course is from the University of British Columbia and is priced at $538. But don't be fooled, you can take this course for free and I'll show you just that in a bit. In the meantime, let me show you what you will learn from this course. So in the first part of this course, you have the core foundations, which includes learning data wrangling, spreadsheet management, and of course, basic data analysis. And that will involve things like navigating the UI, data entry, performing calculations, formatting, using filtering and sorting, and creating basic charts. In all of these initial activities, you'll be dealing with small data sets, which are easier to manage. The focus in this stage is to get you started on the bare minimum and basic fundamentals. Next is data management, and this is where you start to manage larger data sets and more complex data wrangling, spreadsheet management, and modeling. So you're gonna learn how to manage multiple worksheets and workbooks. You're gonna learn how to organize your data sets into tables. You're going to start working with pivot tables and pivot charts and on the modeling part, you're going to start implementing what if analysis, you're going to start using dates, logical, statistical, and financial functions. Now you can stop here and say, wow, that's a lot of information. I want to take some time to be sure that I've really got it. And that's totally fine. In fact, I recommend moving at a slow pace rather than trying to complete the course in record time. But there is a third and final part. And before I get into that section, let me show you how you can take this course for free. So I had earlier mentioned that you can take this course for free, not minding the price you see on the initial page. If you scroll up a bit, you will see that it says here, free with optional upgrade available. Now that optional upgrade is $199, which is a verified track. And you'll have access to course materials, a shareable certificate upon completion, graded assignments and exams. But with the audit track path, you still get to take the course only that you don't get any certificate or access to graded assignments and exams. And quite frankly, you do not need to bother yourself too much about those sort of stuff. The knowledge is what matters. However, accountability becomes key because even though your assignments and your exams are ungraded, you must still put in the effort as if it was graded. Anyway, the third and the final section is the what you call the icing on the cake. And it's at this point, you can pretty much call yourself an experienced Excel user. So you will learn how to apply advanced formulas, conditional logic, automate complex or repetitive tasks, perform formula audits and data validations, create macros and use advanced charting techniques to build a professional dashboard, which is pretty much everything there is to know in Excel. In the second professional certificate, similar to the first, is Coursera, and it is the Excel skills for business specialization. So I have previously made a video about this specialization, so I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about it here. Just click the link above here or in the description below to watch that video and you get all the details. But what I will say is that more like the edX certificates, you can also take this certificate or course for free as long as you are not in for the shareable certificate upon completion and graded at assignments and exams and so on. So just enroll on the individual modules as I guess enrolling for the entire specialization. And once you click on the enroll button on the window that opens, you will see just at the bottom audit the course. And that's it, you're in. 
The third and final Excel course is from Udemy and that is called the Useful Excel for Beginners. Unlike the first two courses, this course is for complete beginners. It's tailored for those who don't know anything about Excel. You've never handled an Excel sheet before. You don't understand the Excel UI. You don't know how to navigate, how to fill, how to click and drag. You know absolutely nothing about the application, but you still want to become a data analyst. No problem. This course will teach you about the nitty gritty of Excel as an application. It will take you step by step on how to do the most basic tasks, like how to select cell, how to insert, how to delete rows and columns, how to use a border, how to enter multiple lines of text in a cell, how to copy paste, how to use find and replace, how to freeze pane, how to edit a formula and so much more. The biggest downside to this course is that it's taught in Excel version 2010 to 2013. So if you're using the newer version of Excel, the UI may be a little bit different from what you see on your screen. But generally, the steps and shortcuts are pretty much the same. And since this is also a free course, do not expect to get a certificate after completion. Now, the main takeaway from these three courses is not to make you an expert in data analysis. Certainly not. The aim is to help you get your feet wet and introduce you to the most widely used and understood application for data analysis. From here onwards, you'll be exposed to more complex tools like SQL and Power BI, and your knowledge of Excel will help you master the workings of those tools. And also, there are plenty of YouTube channels that offer free learning, free tips and tricks to, to improve your productivity and your game in Excel. And I would recommend that you use them to fill in any gaps you may have while taking this certificate. If you're struggling with an aspect or you want to do something specific that is not covered in the course content, just type on YouTube how to, for example, untable a table. Untable? Is that even a word? Well, how to convert a table back to a range, something like that. And I'm sure you'll find plenty of videos to help you on that. Now, let me know in the comments which one you would be taking a stab at. Also, if you have taken these courses or any other Excel courses, I want you to objectively rate your Excel skills from 1 to 10, 1 being a beginner and 10 being an expert. Anyways, that's the video. And as always, if you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.